Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my 72 hour review of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Man, I am excited about this device. But before we go ahead, I wanna give a shout out to our sponsors in this video, Visible Wireless, where you can pick up the S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra. And yeah, we'll talk about them a little bit more later in this video. Whew, man, Samsung really came out swinging this year with this device. Uh, the S20 Ultra is one of those devices when you see it, it just kind of catches on to you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the colors though. So, I mean, cases are necessary. This is a speaking case. Plus, it's also necessary because this device is big. 6.9 inches. Um, and the first thing that catches your eye besides the size is the cameras. I mean, you've got this huge camera array behind. It's big. It's bold. It does a lot of things. I mean, there's 100x space zoom. 100x, that's just something you're not going to use. 30x, yes. 10x, 5x, they work out really well. And I like the fact they work in almost all scenarios. Low lights, daylight. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. Um, but if you really want to see more about the camera, go ahead and check out my, my uh, S20 Ultra versus the iPhone camera video. I mean, that's a really good example there. But it's not just the rare cameras and and the photos. I mean, videos also. 4K 60, 8K video, which trust me, just stay stationary for 8K, don't move around. Um, but 4K 60, super steady got better. And the front-facing camera. The images on the front-facing camera have been ridiculously good. I like what they've done there. I mean, man, Samsung really has brought a game for the camera. So go ahead and check out that video. I think you guys will enjoy that. Now, what else have I really looked at and seen on this device? Well, I've spent a lot of time, of course, um, the last couple of days testing the S20 Ultra. And the one thing I have to say is that that display is gorgeous. It's a lovely looking display, whatever wallpaper you throw on, just the way the glass looks, the, the images look really vibrant when you're watching videos and when you're gaming as well. And they've added an extra layer to it. Last year, people complained that the Galaxy line didn't have a 90 hertz display and Samsung said, look, here's 120 hertz. Now it's at 1080p, I was a little bit bummed, but honestly, I would admit, I don't see the difference and, um, my battery life also has been pretty good, which we'll talk about uh, just a little bit after this. Uh, gaming on this thing is smooth. 120 hertz, 240 hertz charge sampling. It feels like you're gliding. You're playing Call of Duty. Those controls feel solid. They feel like, okay, yes, I can actually play on a touch screen, right? And I notice a lot of you laugh at my gameplay. Yes, I play better at home. That's just what happens. Uh, but it's such a great experience. Plus, you couple that with the Snapdragon 865, uh, up to 16 gigs of RAM, you've got performance that is truly out of this world. And it does wonders. Plus a 5,000 milliamp battery. And that battery life is, I mean, I'm ecstatic with the battery life. Um, so far, I've got great battery life each day that I've used this device. Uh, some of you see the screen on time, you go like, whoa, whoa, that's just crazy. I don't really care about that stuff. I just care the fact that as long as I've used it uh, fully, I've not had to charge this device at all until I I'm do, I did my charge test uh, for the S20 Ultra versus the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which you guys should go check out to see some of those results. So battery life is really solid on this thing, performances. Now I mentioned it has up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and that sounds like a lot. But what I like also is the fact that you can pin applications. It sounds pretty simple, easy until you do it. And then when you pin an app and you go back, you're like, I wanna play some Call of Duty. Oh, I have to restart it. Oh, no, it's pinned, boom goes right back into it or PUBG, whatever game you're playing, it just literally jumps back into the gameplay. To me, that's awesome. Now you can do it for any application, you can do it for your uh, calendar, your email, if that's important to you. For me, gaming is important. And of course it is uh, RAM intensive. So that makes a lot of sense. Those are the kind of things that make this device definitely worth taking a look at. Now I know the price point can be a little bit heavy for someone, but there are many ways to get this device and definitely pick it up. I think Samsung really has something here that's truly unique and different in the sense that they decided to just give you almost everything you're looking for in the smartphone. Even think about it, it's got a micro SD card slot as well. Um, so you've got that ability to expand your storage there. Something has been missing. Now, it doesn't have a headphone jack, which I am bummed out. I'll always be bummed out about it because I like my audio. I'm an audiophile and you know, 
just mm, mm. but still you can use your wireless buds on there bluetooth 5.0 aptex all that stuff built in now there's some things that i would like to see be better from samsung on this device already early early on um it has to do with the speaker audio i like the speaker audio i wish there were more options to customize that audio I know they're giving us Dolby Atmos. I just want to see some equalizer settings. Uh, just a few things here and there to actually just spruce that up for me. But I'm liking what I'm seeing here and I think a lot of you guys will like it too. So that's my, this is my preliminary thoughts of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, if you're thinking of picking it up, I suggest you use our partners at Visible Wireless. Now, you're wondering who's Visible Wireless? They are a $40 all-in-one service. Now, for 40 bucks a month, you get unlimited text, talk, data, and mobile hotspot on Verizon's 4G LTE network. So that's pretty cool. And they are no annual contract. So you can go ahead and pick up the S20 Ultra, which will be coming later on in March, as well as the S20 and S20 Plus, all on no contract. And they have this cool thing called Party, uh, Party Pay, which allows you to get the same service at a lower cost, as low as $25 a month. Now, this party can have your friends, your family, strangers, or your coworkers that you don't even like. It doesn't matter. You can do have them in the party plan, uh, Party Pay, and get it for $25, up to $25 a month. That's pretty cool. And that's a cool way to get this device. So, man. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think of what you've seen of the Galaxy S20 Ultra so far? Are you excited about it? Are you okay at picking it up? Think about it, leave your thoughts down below, and always enjoy your entertainment.